man, salute to Max Holloway, man, and the greatest knockout in UFC history, man, at this uh, UFC 300, man, where he was faced up against uh, Justin Gaethje, man. And with eight seconds left in the fight, man, Max told Justin, let's bring it to the center of the octagon. In a fight, he was dominating. He had this fight as an easy win, uh, uh, Max Holloway. He's like, man, let's let's go out. Let's just let our hands loose. And they just throwing off bolos. They letting off big ass shots. And, you know, they get in this exchange and they, you know, trying to roll with punches, ducking underneath. Max missed like a left and then a right. And it ended up putting him where he's dug down low. Justin should have threw a knee at him. But he's dipped down and he start to work his way back up with combinations to the body, left, right hooks climbing up with these punches going down low with the left right just every punch working his way up and he just clipped motherfucking justin on the chin and it was one second left in this fool one second left and this fool went out like manny pacquiao when marquez knocked manny pacquiao out cold he laid on the octagon flat just like manny pacquiao they had to roll this fool onto his back I seen at one point that the cameras caught it, lifted his arm up, and his arm was dead. Man, this fool was out, unconscious, no life to his body. I mean, that shit was as bad as it gets. And it was to be one of the most devastating knockouts you will ever see in this motherfucking octagon, man. Salute to Max Holloway, man. I think he's very decorated, like one of the most decorated uh, fighters at the division he fights in, maybe even of all time, with probably the most victories at, at at his division or probably even the UFC. So he's a story dude. And man, what a way to go about this one. What a way to close that out. One second was left in the fight that he was dominating. Gaethje decided to engage with him in a slugfest. But folks, that's all I got. Peace.